It's reported that Ezra became a fan of Travis Scott through Fortnite, which is something we've talked about. And he went to this music festival with his father. And when the pushing and shoving started, his father had him over his shoulder, trying to keep him out of the crowd. And eventually his father was suffocated and pushed and he couldn't breathe. And so he dropped Ezra after passing out. And Ezra was stomped and trampled, a nine-year-old trampled in the crowd he's unconscious he's in a coma he was taken to the hospital as john doe at first because he was found separately away from his father so they didn't know his identity he suffered major organ damage his brain is swelling and he's currently fighting for his life in a coma we're going to watch an interview where ezra's grandfather spoke to abc 13 and he had quite a bit to say also today at 2 p.m eastern I have a interview premiering of somebody that was actually at the festival and his mother towards the end came on and she actually came to speak on behalf of Travis Scott in support. She says she felt bad for him. She blames the security and management. She feels that people shouldn't hate on Travis and that he should be performing again. So that's kind of interesting to see. Definitely check it out. I'll put the link for that down below. They went to the Travis Scott concert. Uh, my son had Ezra on his on his shoulders at the concert, and my son couldn't breathe because of all the pressure that was being applied to him, and he passed out. And when he passed out, Ezra fell into the crowd, and uh, he was he was trampled really bad, you know. And when my son came to, they had already taken Ezra to the hospital. And uh, he was listed as a Jane, as a John Doe, because nobody knew his name, and the father was still at the venue in the in the medical facilities. So, uh, I guess my biggest thing is, how could this happen in the city of Houston? You know, uh, when we go to concerts and, and different events, we expect safety and security. And all the videos I've seen. I didn't see any security. I saw very little security. Uh, if the if the concert was going to be a, allowed to continue, the police should have stepped in and stopped it. You know, when the first person was injured or or deceased, the police should have stepped in and stopped it. Someone should have stepped in and stopped it. And I just think there should be some accountability because for my grandson to end up the way he did, something terrible happened. You know, he, he's a small, innocent child. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve it at all. You know, he's just coming into town to see one of his favorite artists. And to be trampled like that and, and really left in the hospital with no one knowing where he was, that's heartbreaking. And us as citizens of Houston, we don't deserve it. And my grandson certainly didn't deserve it. He's a baby, he's just going to a concert to have a good time with his father. Yeah, on his dad's shoulders, and his dad passed out. Yeah. He was and trying to keep Ezra safe. He was trying to keep Ezra safe, but as we've seen in, in the videos, with him holding Ezra up, that left him vulnerable down. So he's he got really squeezed and and he couldn't breathe. He, he kept he just told me, Dad, I couldn't breathe, and I passed out. Well. There should have been some kind of security or some kind of measures to stop that kind of thing from happening. You know, people come in from out of town, they don't know what to expect at a Travis Scott concert, and he kind of got walked into a situation where it shouldn't have been. Are they from out of town? Yes. Oh, where are they from? Uh, Tristan is from Tyler, and uh, Ezra lives in Dallas. Wow. So, um, so did, does he live with Ezra full time? No, he stays oh. with his mother. Oh. Ezra has uh, extensive injuries. Uh, he has damage to his kidney, has damage to his lungs, has damage to his heart, swelling on his brain. Uh, 
during the incident had cardiac arrest. So had a, a nine-year-old child had a heart attack because he was being trampled so severely. What are, what are the doctors saying? Is he going to survive? Uh, it's up in the air right now. But we're praying that he makes a full recovery. And uh, we have our faith in the doctors that are treating him. And we just wish that something more would be done because no family deserves or, or should be going through this. What answers do you guys have right now? Uh, what answers do we have? What questions are you The questions we have is... Okay. The questions we have is, if the mayor said there was 500 policemen there, all the video I seen, I didn't see 500 policemen. If the the organizers of the event said there was 700 security, I didn't see 700 security. I saw children running through uh, through their gates, trampling each other. That's what I saw. So there should be some accountability, and we want to know why wasn't this policed and and supervised the way that it should have been. To lose his life. Uh, I'm heartbroken. I'm still trying to process it. My son is trying to process it because he's feeling guilt because he took him to the concert. And we're just praying as a family that he recovers. And that's all we can do is stay prayerful as a family. I guess my biggest thing is, and you know, we're all we're all on, on social media. I just want there to be some accountability. You know, I've seen uh, apologies online that didn't look sincere from people who uh, participated in that event. If you're if you feel so bad, why aren't you down here at the hospital checking on your fans? Why would you keep letting your concerts be this way and people get injured? No one should be injured to make a dollar. No family should have to lose their child, their grandchild, because you're trying to make a, a dollar. Safety should have been provided for his fans. And that's all I have to say about that. I can imagine just, you know, having a child in that condition. It's got to be just horrific you know and just to see your child in a hospital like that there's a lot of conversation about kids going to these events i've seen videos circulating supposedly of this five-year-old and you know they say that these events are supposed to be safe but like this day and age man it's just so much craziness going on and definitely check out the video that i have for you guys at 2 p.m eastern because one this guy that went to the event i thought it was pretty interesting two i was really surprised to hear his mother's take on Travis Scott and the whole situation. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications. Oh, and there is a GoFundMe for Ezra. So I'll put the link for that down below as well. And uh, supposedly there was a 10 year old. I don't know if the 10 year old is the nine year old. Like did they get that confused? But supposedly there was a 10 year old that was hospitalized as well. So just a lot of young people. And it's unfortunate. I just, I couldn't imagine like, I, like a nine year old falling and people just whatever going about whatever maybe they didn't see him maybe they didn't see the nine-year-old fall how could they just keep going on and trample and step all over this kid i mean it's i would think it's kind of embarrassing for some of these people that went to this event i mean i'm not saying you know maybe they just didn't see him but uh it's that's bad so it's, it's such a like for everybody that hosted this event for all the management and the teams that were there it's a really, 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 really bad look. This is horrible.